Welcome to a very special day because today I'm going to be driving a Porsche but it's not just any Porsche, it's the new 911 GT3 RS, the company's most track-focused car yet. Inspired by all its motorsport success, this car is a really sharp tool designed for the track. Now, there are a lot of innovations on the new GT3 RS, fundamentally being around the aerodynamics. This is the first Porsche really which has a drag reduction system. Yeah, exactly like Formula One. And the wings at the back, it's a hydraulic, the way it opens and it goes up and down. And in the front, it is electromechanically controlled. So down the straights, you have low drag for speed and high downforce for the corners. Now that downforce is 860 kilos at its peak. But let's take a quick look around the car because it has got lots of aerodynamic bits. And let's come and take a look at the wing over here, which I was talking about. You can see that it's got these hydraulic actuators, uh, which open and close and or it raises and lowers the wing for increasing downforce or lowering a drag. The massive wings and their complex mechanisms have added weight, which is why the new GT3 RS comes with lots of carbon fibre just to keep the weight in check. This is also the first road-going 911 to have a single radiator which sits where the front trunk used to be. So what that means is there's no space to keep your luggage because the radiator comes right here. And that again is to free up the spaces on the sides for the aero. So really a lot of aero, the engine is more powerful. 525 horsepower and we are driving it here at Silverstone. Beautiful fast flowing corners to make maximum use of all that aero. It's going to be a perfect day. Well, not quite. It's raining and a wet fast circuit. Well, I'm going to be giving up far, far earlier than the car is, but let's give it a shot. I remind myself that I'm getting into what is in essence a race car with a number plate on it. The GT3 RS is the result of decades of motorsport experience distilled into what is possibly the most engaging and uncompromising road legal machine. But it's not really a road machine. Its natural habitat is right here at Silverstone or the boot circuit back home. And in the hands of the right driver, it could easily break production car lap records. Well, I'm not going to be breaking any records here. Wish me luck. My first four laps in the GT3 RS was spent tiptoeing around a drenched Silverstone. An aggressive or early squeeze of the throttle would snap the tail sideways, but the electronic minders that came into play ensured I had enough of a safety net. The ESC was firmly on to keep me from spinning wildly. Four buttons on the steering wheel leave you lots to play with, including nine levels of traction control and multiple EDIF and suspension settings. But to be honest, I was too busy trying to keep up with the Pro in the pace car to play around with them. If there's one thing the GT3 RS taught me while driving in the wet, it's that this finely honed machine rewards precise driving like no other. Back at the Porsche Centre in Silverstone, my stint in the wet is embarrassingly scrutinised by Porsche's driving app, which gave me every little detail on how I drove. Speed, lap time, g-forces, throttle position, brake position, they are all captured, leaving me with no place to hide. Clearly, I was driving way, way below what the car was capable of. In the afternoon, the weather gods showed some mercy. The rain had gone and the track was nice and dry. The cabin of the GT3 RS is the business too. All black, very functional and with lots of carbon fibre bits. And for a car that's intended for track use, it's not too stripped down either. Air conditioning and infotainment are not only standard but are options you can't remove. Right, let's jump in and have some fun. So, 
second stint. The sun is out. That's great. Now I can really explore this car. Whoa, my God, the grip is just unbelievable. Wow, 9,000 RPM. Just hear that engine. Four-liter naturally aspirated flat six gets hotter camshafts and produces 525 horsepower, which actually isn't much by supercar standards. But that's still enough to rocket you to 100 clicks in just 3.2 seconds. But it's the way the engine revs, the way it sounds, the way it responds to the slightest flex of your right foot that will leave you smiling for days. Just a naturally aspirated jewel. It is supernaturally aspirated. This is a supernatural wonder. But what defines the 911 GT3 RS is its aerodynamics. You can really feel that downforce. It's over 800 kilos. <laughs> oh, grip is just crazy. You can just feel the G's. Blasting around Silverstone, the GT3 RS felt super glued to the tarmac. And within the first few corners, I realized I was merely scratching the surface of what this car is truly capable of. The grip levels, the brakes, they're just simply astonishing. Oh my God, that was the most amazing four laps I have ever had. This is such an amazing track tool. That was internal combustion at its absolute finest, but also at its absolute greenest, because what Porsche haven't really told everyone is that this car is running on synthetic fuel, so it is net zero as far as carbon goes. This is the way to save the internal combustion. And after driving this, I can tell you, it needs to be saved. You also need to save three and a quarter crores if you want the GT3 RS. Is it worth it? Well, this is one of the most seminal experiences you can have on four wheels. Just make sure you have the time and inclination to take it to a racetrack near you to really savor it. Mm.